Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is the Last of Us Episode 2 review. Um, sorry, this is a bit late. I've been working on the Kaleidoscope review, and I've been extremely busy with exams. Though I promise you, after next week, I should probably have more videos posted, as I'll be done exams. Okay, let's get into Episode 2. Again, I'll try to keep it spoiler-free, because I know some people, like Piedor, uh, do not actually- have not actually wa uh, played the through the entire game, or have not watched the episode yet. I'm just gonna get a- give a generalization of what happens in the story. So, the first episode really focused on the origin story, and then 20 years prior, right up until they get Ellie. Essentially, that is all of episode 1. Put into an hour and 20, that is episode 1. Episode 2 focuses on the point after they get... They learn about Ellie's secret. Uh, yeah, essentially, the story takes place right after that, up to a point that I'm not going to spoil, but up to a separation, if you will. Of characters. In the game, it's a separation. It is not really in the show. Either way. The show has really shown, you know, how they can make changes. And they're not necessarily the worst thing. But I would prefer the original. There was one change that I didn't mention in my previous video. In the first episode that I loved. This is going to be a spoiler right here. But, either way, uh, the first episode, you guys would have had to see the first episode review, and you guys probably would have watched the show. Either way, this doesn't happen in the game, and it is a great change. Joel, um, they get found by this guard to learn Ellie's secret, so yeah, I'll still keep it generalized there. And, Joel just beats the crap out of that guard. It's a very good scene because they don't actually go through with the origin of Joel's daughter dying, of course. Again, spoilers. Uh, they they go they don't really go through with that. They don't really continue mentioning it from where I'm at. I know there is some mention of it, and it's like a really sad moment. When he does mention it, because he's really sad about it, but the thing is, you don't see him, from my knowledge, of course, I'm about eight hours into the game, from my knowledge, he doesn't really react to guards for them, like, the US military killing his daughter. So it was actually really nice to see Joel start beating up a guard after getting flashbacks of that. It's, it's a really good scene. I think it's probably the best change that they did make in episode 1. And it was the only brutal thing that we've so far seen in the show. This episode shows us clickers and runners. And they do this weird thing. In the part of the game where this where this episode, episode 2, takes place, uh, they're, you're, right before this, they're get, being chased by the military into this building. And in this building... Joel receives his second weapon, which he already received the second weapon, the assault rifle. And then they go on a little journey to get to the meetup point, and then they go they go through a museum and whatnot. You know, uh, all those things happen uh, in the game, but in the show, they completely skip them their travels through the tower. Of course, it wasn't the most clear moment, but it was the first real moment where you meet, like, ooh, oh, this is, like, oh, these are all the zombies, you know? I, I can learn things here. Clickers, you know, runners. There's a difference between the two. Pio is actually at that point in the game, and he just learned the names of some of the zombies. I don't know any of the names of the zombies until... I didn't know any of the names of the zombies until that point. 
But in this, they essentially skip through all of that part and then go straight to the museum. They have a couple of things, like learning that Ellie can't swim, and other things and whatnot, like, mostly focused on her secret. And really, I find that they rushed through it, because it really felt like there was no time to, like, take a, a breathe there. They were, it was dialogue, and then, it was dialogue, and then it was like, boom, here's the museum scene. And the museum scene is great, because in the museum, in the game, it splits up the characters. It splits them up. It splits them into three groups, or, and you get to play as Joel, obviously, and you get to meet back up after fighting an army of, like, clickers and and runners. I struggled at that part, because I suck at this game. But they don't split up. They're all in the same room for essentially the entire time. Joel, for like maybe two seconds, runs out of the room. But they're essentially together the entire time. It never feels like they split up, which is the good part about that scene, because it feels like there's actually something to be worried about, you know? They're like, oh, oh, crap. Uh... You know, they split up. What is Joel going to do now? I don't like that. They also, he had the assault rifle and he immediately lost it in that scene. So he doesn't have an assault rifle anymore. He only has the pistol now. Which is, okay, it's, it's fine. Like, he doesn't need the revolver necessarily. But yeah, I would have liked to see more scenes of, you know, that relate closer to the game. Of course, that's just my personal opinion, and I'm not saying all the changes have been bad. Like I said, the flashlight is irritating, but, you know, it, it's, it's different. It, it, it's a kind of a norm in a zombie series. Um, either way, uh, what else? Um, yeah, and the other changes that I liked are they focused a lot more... Uh, like in the first episode they focused a lot more on his origin which I actually kind of liked I liked seeing kind of some backstory given to the watch and whatnot. changes I haven't liked so much yet have been what they've been doing with Ro what they did with Robert completely completely screwing over the the story like like the game focuses on the Robert part and then in the show, they just brush over it. And they come, they're looking for two different things, but it makes more sense to the story, so I don't mind that. Um, yeah, this episode, I would say, was definitely worse than the first episode. The first episode changes had decent changes. You know, the changes weren't like, oh, I really don't like these changes. They were just, oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they're changes for sure, but in this episode, their changes were stuff I didn't necessarily like. For one, they really are leaving out soldiers, but I do like seeing their clickers and runner designs, so it is nice to see more zombies. But, as you know, after they go to the museum, if you've played the game, you'll know what happens next. And I'm just gonna say, because I can't spoil it, they did that part pretty bad. I much prefer the game version of the scene. It's way better, and it makes it's a lot more you know, together compared to the show. Either way, I think I'd give this episode a 7 out of 10. It's an average episode. More like a zombie TV show. Uh, they definitely could use more stuff with soldiers, and I would like to see Joel actually gets some of the guns that he gets, considering that this video here, the footage in the background, is where they're going, is like, what's gonna be happening next. So, you know. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching this video. I, I rate that one episode a 7, and just for recap, the previous episode, I gave an 8. Maybe an 8 point something. Uh, probably like an 8.2, 8.3, 8.4, 8.5, 8.6, 8.7, 8.8, 8.9, 8.10, 8.11, 8.12, 8.13, 8.14, 8.15, 8.16, 8.17, 
but I think I gave it an 8, solid 8. I'm going to give this one a solid 7. Uh, definitely could have done stuff better. Uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye. And stay tuned for more Last of Us review content. Goodbye, everybody.